Hello YouTube. Hey everybody. I just got off a live with y'all about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, so this is the recorded video I promised you. My package that I said was coming in is now here. So I'll go through some of the, the few little things that I bought here and why. Just why not. Right, so let's open this bad boy up. Oh. First item out. I actually thought I had already bought this, but it was in my inbox or in my cart, whatever. Uh, but I bought me a, a steel for flint and steel. I didn't buy a flint with it. I can go out here and find a rock in the driveway that'll make a spark. <laughs> That's you know that, that that cost me nothing. So uh, they for the flint and steel they wanted like four extra dollars. I'm like, and it was it. So I just got the steel for the flint and steel. This right here is a sharpening puck for an axe. Uh, I have ways to sharpen my hatchet or whatever, uh, but it, they're files. And I thought I would like to have a uh, little sharpening puck or stone, whatever you want to call it. So I picked one of these up on Amazon. <sighs> It was like six bucks. It has uh, two different uh, grits on it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you got like a rougher grit on one side and a finer grit on the other. All right, here we go. Ooh, it comes in a little box with plastic on it as well. Uh huh. Ooh, wooden box case more plastic yay hope y'all are doing well today this will be coming out on I guess Sunday yep today is Saturday so there she goes she opens up let me show y'all it's got magnets in it too which keeps it shut you open it up you got your sharpening puck or your sharpness stone right here this has a uh, fine grit on one side coarse on the other good for sharpening uh, knives and uh, hatchets and machetes and you know sharp implements that you might need for bushcrafting or for whatever there's a picture of the box with the little magnets in it you can see how it stays shut Oh, that side don't go in, this side goes in. There we go. There she goes. You can feel the magnet when it catches. All right, so there's that. And some paperwork. I've got some oil on that stone. If I need the oil for it, I've got that. Okay, here we go. This is an adapter for a Baofeng uh, radio or any radio that uses an SMA adapter. Uh, let me take it out of the pack and show you here. I used to have one of these, actually. But... Uh, I don't know. I, I may have sold it with a radio. Alright. Actually, I've got a couple different ones in here. Uh, this is the SMA adapter. This, of course, screws onto your bow thing. You take your rubber duck antenna off, screw this on. And this goes to your PL239, which is your regular, like, base station style coax adapter. It's got a little plastic thing on it. I'll take that off. Uh, so, yeah, that screws right into your uh, regular coax uh, for my home antenna that I'm about to put up. So that's that one. And this one has a, an extra one. And again, plastic. Uh, this is for the other screw-on type adapter. 
I forget what these are called. I know one's called the SMA. Don't know what that was called. But anyway, this little pack comes with both. So uh, that will be handy dandy when I get my radio up and going. And the coax I was telling you about. This is RG8X. This is the coax that the, the other end of this screws onto. So one end of this will go to my antenna up in the air. The other end will go to this adapter, the SMA adapter, which will go to my Balfang. Uh, this will be the first antenna I've had up in a while. So uh, it'll be transmit ready and receive ready. Probably will keep my scanner on it most of the time. Uh, my scanner, uh, I have a BNC adapter to hook it up to my scanner. Because uh, it uses the BNC connector. There's All these connectors have terms and names and all that. But uh, this is, I believe, is it 100 feet or 50 feet? 50 feet. This is 50 feet of RG8X. Uh, RG8X is a smaller coax. Uh, a little easier to run sometimes. Uh, it's shielded and all that. So to make sure that's all of it. That is it. That's, like I said, it's just a few little things. Coax, adapter, uh, my little uh, sharpening puck, and it's a little wooden case. And a carbon steel fire steel uh, for flint and steel stuff. So uh, sometime this year when the weather gets pretty, I'll get outside. I go through the driveway picking up rocks, find me one little spark. I know chert wheel, I think, so I got plenty of that out there. Uh, and those were the things we got today. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, I appreciate uh, all my subscribers. Uh, y'all are the best. Yeah, uh, like I said in the uh, live while ago, uh, when people call and check on you and make sure you're doing okay, that's a good thing. I like that. It shows that people actually do care. So, uh, Y'all have a blessed one. This is Farmer Son Prepping. We'll check y'all later.